In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some of the best add-ons that will help you with physics and dynamics in Blender. Stuff such as adding physics to objects and characters to make them look more realistic. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Before we continue, I wanted to let you know guys that the Blender market is having right now a huge summer sale with 25% discount on add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. So to take advantage of this opportunity, I prepared for you guys a list of the best Blender add-ons and courses and you will find all the necessary links in the description down below. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First we have a free add-on called Gravity Collider, which is very helpful for animators, filmmakers and game developers and anyone who is interested in animation. It allows you to easily add bone physics to any objects such as garments, skirts, hair, armor, keychains and all kinds of stuff that you want to make more dynamic. So if you want those jiggles done right, then this is gonna be a good start, especially knowing that the add-on is completely free. So using boxes set up in a chain formation, you can run the physics simulation. You can easily adjust the collisions and the size of the boxes wherever and however you want. There is also a weight painting option to target only specific parts of your mesh. This add-on runs in real time due to its lightweight nature and it scales with the model and even export with your animations so you can use it for example inside a game engine. Additionally, the tool uses an IK setup so you can gradually turn off the physics for full control at any moment you need to. From objects and flash jiggly jiggles to bone jiggles. With this Blender add-on that lets you improve your animations by adding physics and dynamic bones very easily. The workflow of using this add-on starts with placing the bones, then weight painting and finally hitting the magic button provided by this tool. Now let's see what it offers. You actually have a free version and a pro version. With the free version, you can find physics presets to select. You can enable bone sketching or chain mode, and you can bake animations. What you can't find in the light version are cloth mode, and most importantly, the quick access to advanced settings for adjusting the looks of the physics quickly without going through all the physics properties. The settings panel of the pro version also allows you to edit multiple selected bones at the same time. These settings include mass, friction, strength, bending, elasticity, and more. In edit mode, you can start by adding some bones in the areas of the mesh where you are gonna be adding physics. And the more bones you add, the more realistic and physically accurate the result will be. Also, on a side note, if you want to avoid breaking ready rigs, like the rigs you bring from Mixamo, you might want to avoid automatic weight painting. But the good thing is that there is an option of weight painting each bone manually, and then fine tuning it using the gradient tool in weight paint mode. If we select the armature and switch to pose mode, we can simply select the bones that need physics and hit the add bone dynamics button, and let the magic happen. By starting the animation, we can tweak the bone physics settings, and we can do this in real time. At the same time, we can check whether we did a good job in weight painting or else if there is some clipping in the animation, we can pause it at any frame and adjust the weights a little bit until we are happy with the result. Alternatively to the add-on and panel settings, you can select the objects generated by the add-on which are not attached to bones. In the physics properties tab, you will find the settings you will need to edit their behavior. The final step of the process is to bake the animation and when we are done with the settings and we are satisfied with how it looks like, we can hit the bake animation button. If this is not enough for your animation project, we have then SimpliCage, which is a physics related add-on that can be used smoothly along with Bone Dynamic Pro that we just talked about. In short, SimpliCage helps you generate collision boxes and physics ready cages from mesh, bones, or vertex groups. Now let's see how it actually works. First, let's take a look at the interface. After selecting the mesh that we're gonna work on, we have a three-state toggle button to specify the type of the input, whether it is generated from a single bone, multiple bones, or from a vertex group, and another toggle button 
to select the output tab earlier, either we want to generate a collision box or a cloth physics cage, or even generate a simple cage without physics applied to it. We can toggle on and off the advanced settings, but in most cases, other than the remesh resolution, we can get nice results without the need to tweak any other numbers. Under the settings, we have access to 8 cloth setting presets in case we went for the cloth physics. And finally, in the last section, we have some settings to manage the existing cages or for the baking of the simulation. This add-on is actually pretty fun to use. So let's say for example, you need a part of your character's body to have collision. You can either do it using bones or vertex groups, and either way, you just need to select the part of your character that needs collision. After that, hit create collision box and that's it. If your model doesn't have a high poly count, I advise you to uncheck remesh in order to get the fastest results. Same for soft bodies. You can either do it using bones in case you are working with a rigged model or just going with a vertex group in a similar process. By hitting the create cage button, the add-on will create a physics ready cage with the right class settings applied to it if you have selected a physics preset. And if you switch to weight paint mode, you can paint the pink group which includes the parts you don't want the physics to be applied to, which is extremely useful. Although this add-on is not free, it comes with a free version, so you can try it, which gives you the ability to generate physics boxes from a single bone. And there is a light version that allows you to generate boxes from single and multiple bone selections. Combining Simply Cage and Bone Dynamics Pro can give you great ideas to produce better looking physics animations, for example, in this quick looping animation, I used Bone Dynamics for the generated shape of the punching bag and gave its armature that heavy weighing looking chain, then used Simply Cage to generate a remesh soft body in order to simulate the interaction between the character and the surface of the bag. Now talking about something a little bit different, if you have ever used Blender before, you have probably encountered this situation. When you have several objects and you want to fit them inside a box or a container, you are going to be more likely than not to duplicate them and put each one close to the other in hope it's not going to be obvious that they are intersecting with each other. Now, you probably don't have to worry about this too much with the physics dropper add-on, which is going to help you do a lot of that very fast and in a short period of time. Its main function is to run a physics simulation on the selected objects, and once you are happy with the result, you can apply it. You can further adjust the settings of the objects by adjusting the friction and bounciness of your passive and active objects, and you can do this right within the add-ons window. This can be a simple but really helpful add-on if you want to realistically organize stuff or make a mesh that looks believable, such as a hot pile of garbage, for example. So guys, if you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.